Hey everyone, it's Patrick from Oakland Travel. Happy Saturday. It is June the 19th, 2021. Uh, breaking yesterday, we had a uh, judge rule in that case where it was uh, Florida versus the CDC. And uh, the judge came out with a ruling that basically sides with Florida against the CDC. U.S. District Judge Stephen Maryday wrote a 124-page decision that Florida would be harmed if the CDC order which the state said effectively blocked most cruises were to continue. So, you know, the question I have about all of this is, you know, one, first of all, the cruise lines and CLIA, uh, which is the Cruise Line Industry Association, all the cruise lines are still trying to figure out what all this means, what's going to happen. Uh, he delayed the effect of his order until midnight on July 18th. But what I want to focus on is the Alaska Recovery Act. And... This was a legislation that was passed uh, not too long ago, specifically to try to enable some sort of a cruising season for Alaska in 2021, because Canada essentially ruled that no, or Canada put a, a law in place that no cruise ships could go through Canadian waters. They couldn't enter Canadian ports at all. Uh, go back to 1886 law, the Passenger Vessel Act, I believe it is, that requires visit of a foreign port. And if you've ever wondered why a cruise itinerary always stops somewhere outside of the U.S., that's why. It has to make at least one port stop in a foreign country. So the, the Alaska Tourism Recovery Act was going to get around that because it was going to allow the cruise ships and the cruise lines to like send an email or some kind of weird thing to sort of satisfy the, 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 the uh, Passel Vessinger Act from 1886. But... The way they wrote the legislation, it says a covered cruise ship means a vessel included on the list under paragraph two that has been issued, operates in accordance with and retains a COVID-19 conditional sailing certificate of the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and B operates in accordance with any restrictions or guidance of the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention associated with such certificate including any such restrictions or guidance issued after the date enacted of this act. So basically the, the Alaska Recovery Act is tied to the conditional sailing certificate issued by the CDC. Now, Judge Mary Day's decision affects the conditional sailing order. And we don't know exactly what's gonna happen with all this. So some of the most immediate speculation that, that popped up over the last couple of months uh, since this lawsuit that Florida filed was if this goes in Florida's direction, which now it seems like it will Does that put the Alaska cruise season in jeopardy because of the way that they wrote this legislation? so I Don't know because to me this seems like a situation where the CDC would have to issue these certificates but would the, would the CDC issue the certificates even though the conditional sale order has been negated? Now, it's only been negated in the state of Florida. So, you know, it's it's kind of, we're, we're in a, a very gray area here because the Alaska cruises, of course, would not go out of Florida. So does that mean that the CDC looks at this as anything going out of Washington? Because basically they're going to have to go, if they're going to go out of the U.S., they're going to go out of Seattle. Uh, you do have some Alaska cruises that start in Seward, Alaska and come down and end in Seattle. But a lot of them start in Seattle and end in Seward or they start in Seattle and they come back to Seattle. So, you know, you still pretty much have a U.S. port on the West Coast involved in that that is not part of this whole mess with the lawsuit with the CDC. So uh, that's my question. So let me know what you think in the comments about the uh, you know, how this thing is going to play out. Uh, let me know in the comments, too, what you think of this whole CDC situation with the lawsuit and what you think is going to happen there. Um, if, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and change the bell icon so that you get the notifications so that whenever I put up a new video, you know about it.